All right, we're back. Got the lid mode. The patch up here is done. And we're gonna put the trim back up. I picked up some paneling nails. These are brown, uh, inch and a quarter, I think. Um, they're slightly ribbed, not anywhere as ribbed as the original finishing nails are, but they closer match what was in there. Let's glue it up and tack it on. Just like old. All right. Try this again. Recording finally. All right. So let's recap. Power supply is plugged in. There is an adjustment on this for uh, 12 volt up or down. It's uh, turned all the way up. Come in to twelve six volts. How about the five? The five is two point six. Let me run it the other way. It's all the way the opposite direction. Twelve volt is at six volt, no change. Five volt is oh, I lost my common. Two and a half volts for five, which means there's a short somewhere taking half of it. Let me dis let me disconnect it from the circuitry in here. Something is something's goofy. Where is my screwdriver? Let's take the 5 volt supply off and see if we get 5 volts there now. That's unused common. Let's see what we get. 2.6. Let's try from ground. 5 volts. 2.5. How about across negative and positive 5? Yeah, that should be 0, not negative 2.5 volts. Alright, let's remove everything off of common. Compressor on the drink machine finally shut up. Alright, gray. Both the grays go to common. Switch them together. And that goes to 5 volt. Actually, that was disconnected. I believe the yellow goes to five. Anyway, let's try a comment on five now. Two and a half. Take that other comment out. Two and a half. Okay, well, the two reds go to 12. So let's take them off. I do believe that power supply has a problem. So does my screwdriver. Tip's broken. All right, 
nothing plugged into it now. I should have minus negative a negative five volts here. I don't have anything. There is something wrong with this power supply. 12 volt, I have, I have half voltage, I have half voltage. Probably on the five now too. Yeah, two and a half, so the power supply, power supply shot. So, let's take the power supply out, um, check and see if maybe um, there's a fuse. I don't know why I would have half, half voltage uh, unless one of the, um, one of the MOSFETs blew and it's only got uh, half the voltage rails running. So let's um, let me get this randomizer out. Um, I'll get some pictures of the wiring configuration as it is. Unplug everything, and um, my dog is barking. One of them. We'll address them both separately. We'll see what's going on with this, where everything goes, wiring-wise. Um, maybe we can get this running out of here and go from there with that. Here, I got everything out, and I was looking at this power supply, and you know, I'm, I'm wondering, that doesn't stay DC. I'm wondering if that's not 12 volt AC. That would make sense if it's, uh, powering those uh, 120 volt bulbs directly. So they have a uh, uh, kind of a low glow, medium glow. Because this wire is way too, way too small for a 60 watt light bulb at 120 volts. So let me hook this back up and we'll check it. We'll check it on uh, AC and see if it's 12 volt AC. There may be another one with this power supply, but let's see. Cord. I'm going to chop off temporarily and use instead of this one. Neutral white, black line, hot, etc. Alright, let's plug it in. Power strip. Could explode. Alright, let's set this to 200 volts AC. Oh, and uh, this Dayton solid circuit timer on delay um, was in there. I'm not sure how it was hooked up. Um, it was disconnected and there were no Speed terminals hanging, so we'll figure out where that went at some point. Once we start getting it all back together, piecing, let's check it on common on 12 volt AC. That's what it is 12 volt AC. Yep, 5 volt AC, 5 volt AC. Okay, negative 5 volt. Not uh, how about the ground? How about a crawl? Well, I don't know if I can do it, should be zero. Yeah, negative five volts and negative. Negative, negative. So, power supply seems okay then. Um, oh, I'll just use this in testing. Figure out the wiring setup and uh, the lights are wired into two pigtails. Fortunately, the the, um, the plugs are uh, on the other harness. Unfortunately, they're the same color code, and they're the same connector. And I didn't put tape on. So we'll have to. More than likely, it's half half up, you know, like bottom half, top half, or whatever. We'll have to figure out which one's which. Because um, we definitely want these to light in order, either up or down. Um, most of them go top down, so 
Give me a yay, more fun. Alright, let's put. I've got some new mirror clips here, but they're. Looks like they're half the thickness. These are eight, they're not half. I couldn't find half. I think there's enough here um, of the original ones. These aren't too bad. A couple of them look a little newer than the others. So we'll work with what we got and put it back together. Let's put do one side. Got one here, and one here, here, and here. So let's get this one all loose. They're going to run in a little crooked, but I'm not going to run in a Just to hold the top. I've already replaced the lock with a uh, brass one. And the uh, button trim right here holds the bottom in. So I need to replace the bulb, lock it. Another one here for the door. We need to mount the coin back on the door. There we go. I think this door could use probably some Murphy. Well so um, could you could use a good cleaning. Two catfuls.
cleaning the whole cabinet with this. Much better. Lots of dirt. All right, we've got some screws here. These are going to need to go in from the, from the back. And 32s. You can also use an M5. It's close enough to the same thread. M5 uh, three quarter. M5.75, whatever. I could not find a size in between, so I may have to actually cut these um, to fit. Yeah, so they don't stick too far out the front of the casing. Yeah, they're going way out the front. I have to cut off about an inch of it. So we'll go ahead and uh, mount them up. I'll mark them with a sharpie. Then um, usually what I'll do is I'll mark it, I'll run a nut on, cut it with the hacksaw. Um, I may bevel the edge, I may, I may um, uh, chamfer it, but um, we'll see what it looks like after I cut it. And then you back the nut off and it helps straighten up the, the leading thread. But, um, usually I'll just grind that down with some sandpaper just so you have a nice starting thread. Where, where is it? It's in there somewhere. I don't want to start. going to be pulling that thing out as thick as that door is. I 
those two holes to line up correctly. Guess we'll find out. That one's good. That one's good. Poking through. Good spring return now, nice and smooth. Okay, so let me go grab a grab a sharpie. I'll mark right around the surface of there. You can come back with alcohol and wipe it off the uh, chrome. It's not a problem. Let me go grab a sharpie. cut these a little short just so they don't uh, stick up stick out too much all right let's go cut it off Either do it the other way. Now if I can just get it back in the groove. I will just go get the cut off wheel. The only problem with that is it gets stuff so hot, it changes the tempo of the metal. It went and yeah, it's got a little burr on it. I'm gonna have to chamfer that. I don't think it's gonna wanna thread in there straight. Screw pack here. Now let's check thread and make sure that it's going to thread on this nut. Because if I collapse the thread, it won't. Yeah, it's having a problem starting. Of 
Worst case scenarios, I'll get the uh, get the dies out. I think this metal straighten it. Yeah, I got it. Right's good. Our bottom right. That one looks pretty clean. I think that one should thread right on. If I can hold the nut. Huh. Yeah, that one's got a uh, collapse thread. Should have left the nut on it when I went to use the grinder. About it. Right, that one's good. Toss the top left. See how that one does. I tried to grind off as much of the edge of the thread. That one, that one started, but it was a little rough. Uh, I'll clean that one up a little bit with the nut. There you go. Top left and bottom left. That one, same thing, just a little bit right there on the edge. And that should screw right on in there. Shoes. Top right, with the washer. good. They're countersunk just a little bit. I'm going to grab some alcohol. We'll wipe off the Sharpie. I'll grab a quarter and we'll verify that that thing still works. Alright. Alcohol wipes should work. If not, yep, they do. I have uh, goof off. is also good stuff. You gotta be careful what you're using on, because it will melt plastic. Some plastics are good. Some, it'll just eat right through. saw on the repair video that uh, long L looking thing with the square holes that's the um, ratchet lock so once you start to bend the coin 
you can't get it back. You got to push it all the way through, which works correctly. As soon as you hear it clicking, that door is good to go as far as uh, the coin op. That was a simpler thing to do in here. We got to put the graphic back on the door, reassemble it. The marquee goes around it. That's it for now. We'll be uh, doing a little more stuff with um, the cabinet. Got to clean it out. Um, I need to do continuity check on the wiring from the pigtail here that goes to all the light bulbs to make sure um, they all connect correctly and work some more on the uh, the old fun diagnostics with the electrical so, um, thanks for watching I'll see you in a little bit